Hello, hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I today wanted to uh, draw a face and I just wanted to show once again my process of um, making a face and I start by sketching out with a graphite pen of course and I have some guidelines that I follow of course so that everything will be placed in a good place because otherwise the face will look weird and I don't know if I totally nailed it today the thing that I struggle with I struggle with a lot of things of course but um, I'm not that good at getting the face shape right I think and uh, the cheeks and the and the chin and uh, so that's what I'm struggling with and and sometimes also the mouth um, it's a bit hard for me and somehow my faces always looks um, sad or angry I don't know why um, that's how they <laughs> usually get um, but of course I'm practicing and and that's something you have to do all the time but I enjoy it so this girl gets kind of a <laughs> long face and a big mouth but well well so here I'm just adding, it's a watercolor paper, I forgot to say, it's uh, 180 grams, so it's quite of a thin paper. And I'm adding my watercolor pencil from Faber-Castell, it's my Albrecht Dürer watercolor marker. And I love them, but I don't know if you can see, but the paper doesn't really like when it gets too wet here, so it starts to... Know, crumble a bit and I don't know I don't really like it um, and here I just added I think it was an ecoline pen yes it was yellow ochre so I often experiment a bit with what pens I'm using and what colors and and I like that and now I'm going to coat this with my matte medium it's a matte medium from Winsor Newton and I just wanted to do, the, do it because the paper is really not acting well here and today I wanted to use my Silky Twisters crayons they are quite like gelatos but they are from the children's section at my workplace Panduro and they're really nice to just smudge with the fingers and I like that it gets an even surface even blend to it uh, but of course you could use gelatos or uh, Tim Holtz distress crayons I do that sometimes also um, and now I'm add adding some I don't know I'm just winging it I think kind of a turquoise petrol is it called petrol uh, ah, turquoise let's call it turquoise green and I'm just shading a bit around the eyes and on the cheeks and, and the neck and yeah so if you're interested in shading I'm not oh, no expert in shading far from it um, but I've learned a lot from Karen Campbell and you should check her out because she's really she helped me a lot and she's funny <laughs> to watch um, and I'm kind of using her system a bit um, I don't know if I'm following it correctly but um, she's using something she's calling a hamburger system where she adds a layer and then she's covering it with something and then she's adding another layer and now I'm adding a matte medium once again and of course it smudges out a bit of my 
silky twisters because it's reacting with water and but that's why I'm adding it now because on top of this I'm going to use my Faber Castell pit pens and I love those because you can smudge them with your fingers but then they are permanent pens and they are light fast and you know really really good artist quality I believe so if that's important to you so now I'm just using a lot of different shades and today I wanted to go with kind of a green nuances uh, along with my uh, skin colors and brown and like I said I just I'm just trying It is quite a long, lengthy process to, to shade a face, or it can be anyway, but I love it. And maybe that's why I get so carried away and I can just sit and, and paint the face for a long time and just shade it and yeah, add different colors. So I love that. Some more green, maybe a eyeshadowish <laughs> on her. And now the mouth. I'm not that good, like I said, in drawing mouths and shading them. And I don't know, I'm just trying. And I <laughs> think she has to have some eyebrows, uh, maybe. And now I think she's in the what Karen Campbell always calls the the ugly stage. Uh, it's when it looks like yeah, like you can see, it looks really ugly really bad but I hope it'll get better I'm just coloring her eyes with a dark brown nuance and some black I don't really like the mouth. I think I added too much black on it. But well. And some eyelashes. And I'm adding it with my black Posca pen. Now the mouth is getting quite destroyed so I'm just adding a wet wipe and and I can actually remove remove the most of it and and redo it so that's a good thing with these pens and that's because I have a matte medium underneath so I can move the colors and 
now I'm adding some white details in the eyes and on the nose, nose, <laughs> nose and lips and ch uh, chin and yeah I think that'll have to do she looks kind of distraught <laughs> and I'm adding some ears on her also because I think she looks weird without ears and I'm not going to give her any hair but that's a story of its own uh, to make hair and here's how she looks um, yeah quite serious but I quite like her anyway she she turned out okay and I hope you enjoyed it keep practicing bye